Hello, everybody. So if you're just starting this amazing journey of thinking about having your own practice, or maybe you're past that, you know, you are going to have your own practice, and you're working into all of that right now, what you might be wondering is, oh, should I be doing this? You know, am I really going to make more money working for myself? Is it going to be too much work, too much expenses? Is it just be um, better to work for a dentist to work in a dental office? So what you might have heard me say before is if you're thinking that, okay, that's a very normal thing to think, but to be an entrepreneur, to have your own business, you think differently. I know when I first started my business, that wasn't even a thought. My thought was I got to get out of working for other people. It's not for me. I got to get out of working for dentists at dental offices because I don't have the time I want with my patients. I don't feel like I can do what my, what I want. I have to work their hours when I really don't want to. I have to work so hard and get the same pay. This makes no sense. So for me, it was a no brainer. Starting my own practice just made the most sense. I was worried about having a standalone practice and paying a million dollars to get a new dental office, make it looking nice, you know, whatever. That is what concerned me. So having a mobile practice just made sense for me. Less startup costs, you can do things right away and you're truly helping patients. How I saw it, you guys might not like this, but who needs another dental office building out there? There's so many, maybe where you live, there isn't though. So definitely don't let that deter you. Um, plus a dental hygienist having their own practice is different. We are oral health specialists. That's what I say. So if you're thinking, you know, well, Andrea, just tell us, do you actually make more money working for yourself? Yes, I do. I would never go back to working for a dental office again. You couldn't pay me to work for a dental office again. Um, I couldn't even put a price on how much I would want per hour because having your own business, like not even talking about the money for a second, but you can pick your own hours. My first year of business was different because I worked for a dental office part-time. I couldn't really pick my own hours. I was so busy. I was so exhausted, but that's another video for another day. But now that I'm established, I've been in business for two and a half years almost. I can pick my own hours. If I'm not feeling well, I don't feel bad calling in sick. I, I mean, it's different now with COVID, but you get the idea. Um, you probably like years ago, you calling in sick to a dental office was probably like pulling teeth. They probably wouldn't let you call in sick. That always happened to me. I felt bad when I was sick. I would go into work, feel awful, you know, trek through my eight hour day, horrible. Now, if I don't wanna work, I don't have to. Let's say I had a really difficult perio day today and my back was killing me. I wouldn't feel bad canceling my schedule the next day. I mean, I would feel bad because it's my patients now, but you know, you get the idea, right? The flexibility is priceless. At least it is for me. It is priceless. I do feel like I don't have a typical nine to five, but I would work so much harder to not have a nine to five. I don't mind working like a crazy person to work some days five to nine, some days nine to six, some days nine to 12. I set my own hours and it's amazing. Um, but you can, you can and you will make more money working for yourself than you would working at a dentist. I don't know how much you got paid. Think about it per hour. When I was a dental hygienist working for a dentist, um, I wanna say I made, isn't that funny? I don't really remember, $31 an hour? maybe 35. And this was like, not that long ago. Sorry, guys, I don't remember, but something like that. Do I make more than $35 an hour now? Yeah, because I bill an exam, a dental hygiene exam, I bill a scale, I bill a polish, I bill fluoride, I bill desensitizing when I do desensitizing, I bill the new patient exam when I have the new patient exam, I bill a polish. So you guys add that up. Look in the fee guide. Is that more than $35 an hour? Heck yes, it is. Even me traveling mobile, taking into account travel time. I charge a mobile fee of $20 now. So depending on when you watch this video, this might be different. But um, I charge $20 now for my mobile fee and $25 if it's an hour away. You know, So I'm kind of changing that up. Um, if I did this video six months ago, I was only charging $10 a mobile fee. So I kind of determine things, right? PPE is more expensive. That's why I do do that. 
But you see, you guys, so if you charge the fee guide, if you charge appropriately, you can and you will make more money and it will be the most amazing feeling ever when that insurance check comes in with your name on it for $400. You're like, oh my God, I remember this patient. That was fun. I just deposited $400 into my account. Yet, if you work for a dental office, you might not even make that in one day. And that was one patient. So you get the idea. It's truly amazing. Your first year in business, you're probably paying off business loans, all of that. But if you hustle, you can pay off the business loan quickly and make that money. So I hope this helps you guys to get you guys inspired. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.